Hello, and welcome to Eaton Park. On behalf of the Eaton Park family, I want to thank you for visiting. While you're here, I'd like to tell you about a very special member of the Eaton Park family, Smiley. You've probably seen Smiley around for a while, but do you know how he got his start? When I was a little boy growing up in Titusville, Pennsylvania, I walked to and from school every day. And on my way home, I'd stop at Warner's Bakery and buy the same thing. A round sugar cookie with a smiley face painted in the icing. I bought so many cookies, my friends started calling me Cookie. After college and a career in banking, I joined the team at Eaton Park. One day, I had an idea. What if Eaton Park started making smiling sugar cookies like the ones I loved when I was growing up as a kid? So in 1986, with the help of Warner's Bakery, Eaton Park restaurants started baking smiley cookies. We gave one to each of our young diners at the end of their meal. It started to catch on, so we started calling ourselves the Place for Smiles. What you smiling about? I love those smiley cookies. That's my favorite color. It's almost the color of my nails. See? And pink. <laughs> what do you say? Thanks. Eaton Park is a nice place for kids. Eaton Park's the place for smiles. They're free for the kids. It didn't take long before Smiley started popping up in all kinds of places. Menus and posters, and eventually he even got his own commercial. Here's an early one. It's from 1992. Take a look. Guess what? The first few days that commercial aired, our restaurants ran out of Smiley cookies. Then someone had the great idea to bake Smiley in different shapes in honor of holidays. So around Valentine's Day, you'll see Heart Smiley cookies. Shamrock Smiley believes in the wearing of the green. In springtime, there are Flower Smiley cookies and Bunny Smiley cookies. My favorite is probably Halloween, when Smiley looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Of course, you can also see Smiley wearing the black and gold to cheer on his favorite Pittsburgh sports teams. In 1994, we had this great idea that we wanted Smiley to be full of hot air, literally. We brought Smiley to life as a hot air balloon. He went to parades and festivals and regattas. He got around. Smiley was becoming so popular that people started asking him to visit their neighborhoods. Well, what's a guy to do? Smiley knew he needed to look especially snappy if he was going out on the town, so he grew legs and arms and hands and started visiting his fans across the region in our restaurants, at community events, even at sporting events. Once he threw out the first pitch at a Pittsburgh Pirates game, he had a ball doing it. The more he got around, the more people wanted to see him. In 2004, we decided that a cool cookie like Smiley needed some fancy wheels. So we introduced the Cookie Cruiser, and that became Smiley's ride for getting around the community. We even put together a group of friends to travel around with him, who we call Team Smiley. They keep him company when he travels. The first thing Smiley's friends need to do to become a member of Team Smiley is attend Smiley University. That's where they learn everything about Smiley. Guess you could say they increase their Smiley IQ. We have a new Cookie Cruiser now, and Smiley and his team hop in it and travel all around the area. Did you know that Smiley makes more than 150 appearances every year? When he and his team arrive at an event, they set up a design station where kids get to create their own Smiley cookies. In 2007, we partnered with a young country singer from Pittsburgh named Sarah Morins. She sings the Eaton Park jingle you hear in our commercials. She and Smiley create a lot of fun when they're together. At about the same time Smiley met Sarah, he also was in a movie. So of course, 
Now he thinks of himself as a movie star. Anyway, there was an R.L. Stein movie being filmed in Pittsburgh. And there was a scene where they needed a Halloween-themed cookie. And guess who they invited? Our very own Smiley Cookie. We knew that movie was going to generate a lot of interest in Smiley. So we started a website just for him, smileycookie.com. It's a place where you can go to create your own Smiley Cookies. You can choose from flowers, fish, hearts, and bunnies. And you get to pick the colors you want. Smiley thinks he looks good in all of them. Now that people can create their own smiley cookies, do you have a guess at what the most popular color combination is? If you're thinking black and gold, you're right. From smileycookie.com, you can ship your cookies anywhere in the country. And let me tell you, the guy gets around. He's been to all 50 states, visited our troops overseas. He's even been to the White House. A little closer to home, Smiley shows off his athletic skills by appearing at parades, races, and even marathons in the community. His athletic skills even go beyond that. He also thinks of himself as a surfer dude. Well, not in the traditional sense, with oceans and waves and all that. That's hard to find around here. No, Smiley is a body surfer. Check him out at this Sarah Marin's concert. When the weather gets colder, Smiley trades his sunglasses for a football helmet. Did you know he's the Pittsburgh Steelers' secret weapon? When the team needs a really tough workout, they turn to Smiley. Just in case you don't believe me, here's the proof. The Steelers break the huddle. With a lone setback, he steps to the line. There's the snap. Smiley takes a handoff, stiff arms the linebacker. He's powered by two eggs, two fluffy pancakes, two crispy strips of bacon, two sizzling sausage patties, hash browns, or home fries. Smiley goes all the way to the table and scores with a Super Steelers breakfast special. Only $4.99 for a Super Steelers appetite from your neighborhood restaurant at Steelers fans. Eaton Park. Eaton Park. It seems that when Smiley does a really good job training the Steelers, they end up in the Super Bowl. Since Eaton Park introduced Smiley in 1986, people want more and more of him every year. Can you guess how many Smiley cookies we've sold? Would you believe more than 100 million? That's right. We now bake more than 11 million Smiley cookies each year, and that number gets bigger and bigger every day especially since we introduced our mini Smiley cookies. In spite of his popularity, Smiley is pretty modest. He's too shy to tell you this himself, but this is a very exciting time for him. In June, Smiley celebrated his 25th birthday. And what's a birthday without a celebration? After all, Smiley enjoys sharing fun times with his friends. What do we love about summer at Eaton Park? It's Smiley's birthday, and in honor of Smiley, all kids' meals are only 99 cents. And each kid's meal includes a free Smiley treat bag with cool Smiley stuff and a free Smiley cookie. It's Smiley's birthday and 99 cent kids' meals, only at Eaton Park. Visit FindSmiley.com for a Smiley appearance near you. And we'll see you at Eaton Park. In honor of Smiley's milestone birthday, we asked the famous Pittsburgh post-pop artist Burton Morris to use his distinct style to create a painting of Smiley. He did a great job, don't you think? We also had a big birthday party for Smiley at the Carnegie Science Center. We invited all of Smiley's friends and his fellow mascots. There were activities for kids of all ages. It was great fun, and it's safe to say that everyone left with a smile. So as you can see, Smiley is much more than a cookie. He represents the Eaton Park culture. We want to do things that make people smile, our guests, our team members, our friends, and our neighbors. Please keep looking for Smiley. If there's an Eaton Park restaurant near you, you might just find him in your neighborhood. And if you do, go over and give him a hug. But not too hard. You don't want to make the cookie crumble. Well, that's a quick history of our very special friend Smiley. When you're in the restaurant, we hope you enjoy your meal, and we hope we make you smile. 
That's the goal of all of our team members, including Smiley. Thank you for listening.